Have you ever sat down to write a paper or a speech only to stare at your computer screen for what seems like forever because you don't know how to begin? If so, you're not alone. Many students say that figuring out how to begin is one of the most frustrating parts of the writing process. So in this video, we present a few strategies that will hopefully help you avoid the how do I begin conundrum. The opening of your speech is often referred to as the attention getter. It is also commonly referred to as an attention grabber or a hook. For this video, I will use the term attention getter, but they are all the same thing. A good attention getter should do two things. First, it should focus the audience's attention on the speaker. Second, it should arouse audience interest in the speech topic. What you do for your attention getter is one of the most important moments of your entire speech. This is because it is during the first few moments of your speech when your audience will be developing their first impressions about you as a speaker and about your speech topic. So it is important to come up with something that will be engaging and dynamic. There are many different ways to start a speech, but since we don't want this to be a 20 minute video, we will look at eight of the more commonly used strategies. They are using stories or personal anecdotes, using facts or statistics, asking questions, using a quote or saying, using humor, interacting with the audience, building mystery, and using visual images. It is useful to see how these techniques have been used in actual speeches. So let's take a look at examples of each. I want you all to imagine that you are in the Sahara Desert and all of a sudden an elephant comes by and crushes your leg. So you are just laying there thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? An elephant just stepped on my foot and I'm going to die here. The answer is nothing because you're in the desert, there's no cell phone service, but you don't have to worry because all of a sudden the elephant takes his trunk and scoots you underneath a tree and waits with you for hours until a search party finally arrives. According to the Wilson Quarterly, in 2013, this very same incident happened to a camel driver. According to the American Health Administration, they conducted a study that said 70% of individuals feel as though they are unable to assist and that they are uninformed and unprepared during a cardiac emergency, whereas only 30% of individuals feel as though they could perform CPR. How many people here have gone through puberty? And how many people have gone through puberty twice? Well, I have. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. More appropriate phrase might be, the pain from stones and sticks, it can be fixed, but words are everlasting. Now, I'm sure most, if not all of you, have heard jokes about France. Oh, did you know there are 17 different words in the French language for surrender? I heard French tanks go faster in reverse than they do forward. I thought the flag of France was just plain white. France gets a lot of ridicule for surrendering early in World War II, and they really don't deserve it. Okay, guys, I want you to put your hands together and bow as you repeat after me. Salvadi. Salvadi. Great job. So my name is Emily Learn, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the do's and don'ts of Thai culture. And what we just did is a common greeting in Thailand using both the Y and the Thai language. And it's essential for if you were to ever go to Thailand. So many of us know Pennsylvania as the Keystone State, home of the Eagles and sometimes the Steelers. Um, and often our area is known for being close to Hershey Park and Dorney Park. But what many of us don't know is about a new business that's being started in our area. And if you're the right side of the business, it's a very lucrative business. Um, it's secretive in the manner that it operates, but the amount of income that it takes in is very, very large. This industry is actually the industry of human trafficking. Start off, I want to show you guys a quick couple images. And I want you to take a look at these images and just think to yourself as to whether or not you would consider them vandalism or art.
We all can see graffiti everywhere. You could see it on the sides of buses, buildings, trains, in inner cities, as well as in even rural areas like this. But what would you say if I told you an artist in the 1980s was able to change the way we look at it, as well as be able to come famous for the vandalism that he put out into the world? Of course, there are many other attention-getting strategies that did not make our list. And you are not bound to just one strategy. Here is one last speech opening that combines two strategies from our list. How many of you, by a raise of hands, knows what this is? Don't be shy if you know what it is. Very good. Next question. How many of you, by a raise of hands as well, knows what this is? <clears throat> there we go. A lot of people know what that is. <laughs> As many of you may or may not know, these two items play a crucial role in African-American history and African-American hair culture. And don't worry if you don't know what these two items are, you definitely will by the end of this discussion. Hopefully this list of attention-getting strategies and examples of their use will help you come up with something engaging and dynamic to start your speech. Remember, a good attention-getter should focus the audience's attention on the speaker and arouse the audience's interest in the topic. How you open the speech is important because it is when the audience is developing their first impression about you as a speaker and about your topic. So be creative and have fun with it.